All right. Good afternoon, everybody. We've got a big battle, as you can see, in store for you today. Um, we have a, a company battle, so a bit different than what we've historically done, where we battle each other. And in this case, we're going to battle two companies, two Mr. Box companies against one another. And we'll clear, we'll clear these out of the way here in a second, but that's just for, for you to see, um, you know, what we're trying to do here. So what it's going to be here is we have four boxes, and these are the weekly Challenger Series boxes um from chrono toys so 11.90 or i'm sorry 10.99 plus shipping um versus the planet arlia uh bands for arms boxes and the reason we decided to do a battle with these two particular is it's basically the same price point uh, if you think about 10.99 plus call it four dollars shipping right at that 15 dollar price point same thing with the Planet Arlia uh, Bands for Arms boxes, uh, $15 free shipping. So roughly the same price point, um, and we thought it would be cool to see how we make out with the two uh, companies compared to one another. So we'll get these out of the way. We'll clear them. The way it's going to work is we'll open four of the Chrono Toys boxes and four of the Bands for Arms boxes. We'll compare the values of the two and see how we did. Um, I'll open two Chrono first. D will open two Planet Arlia Bands for Arms boxes first. And uh, we'll do the tally of what it looks like at the end. As always, I do um, Pop Price Guide. D does um, Funko App. And we'll compare how those align as well. With that, let's get started. You got your first one, right? You want me to go first or you want to go first? You go first. Okay. So I have a Chrono Toys May Weekly, Ch Weekly Challenger Series. And I can't remember which week these are from. I think it's from week two or three. can't remember. Um, with that, I'm going to open the first one up. Did you look? I have only saw bubble wrap. Oh, dude. You're cheating again. This off the screen here. Maybe today. Anytime. <laughs> today. Okay. Boom. Oh, upside down. We got Dean from Supernatural. That's pretty cool. I think that's actually a an older pop. Um, this one maybe or actually it says uh 2011 so this is an older pop um we'll we'll check values at the end i'm not sure if that's supposed to be a store exclusive or not i thought there were some store exclusive ones for this usually hot topic but we'll check at the end all right and also i got a bands for arms one planet arlia yep as right. we've mentioned a couple of different times bands for arms are great um support great causes we like to open their boxes. Nick does a great job on value as well. It's a good combination. And right. Boom. <laughs> Mandalorian. Which Mandalorian is that? There's so many Mandalorian pops at this point. Um, I'm actually not sure. I think it's the one actually. I actually, I don't know. I think the first one was New York City Comic Con, and that's the one that blew up like crazy on the value side. Yeah, let me check. It's from 2019, so it's a pretty recent pop. Uh, I'm not actually not sure which one this is from. All right, we'll take a look at the end. Here's the side and the back. And the damage is really nice as usual with Bands for Arms. Perfect. So, again, Devin will do his two Bands for Arms boxes first. I'll do my two Chrono Toys uh, boxes first. Uh, just so you know where we're at and what we're looking at. All right. All right. The so. screen... If I can do a better job at um, opening the bubble wrap. Boom, again, upside down. This is, oh, this is cool. So this is one of the animation pops, and this is actually, I think it's, is it Ochako? I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> um, from, it's, it's a play on Hello Kitty and uh, sort of a, a fusion with... Um, uh, my Harry, my hero academia. Yeah. So, uh, it's pretty cool. I, I like the way this one looks. This one has a, almost looks like a version of the mass Ochako. And I could be saying that wrong. If, if I am, let me know in the comments, but, 
um, it, it's a it's a pretty cool pop how it sort of merges the two um, series together. I think it is a newer common pop, um, though I haven't seen it in many places yet. So no, I haven't either. Well, then again, we can't really go out because of COVID. <laughs> Very true. Okay, not looking. All right. Take it off the screen. All right. Time Again, to reminder to everyone: I'm wearing the box battle loser hat from my loss last time. Oh. It uh, looks like another Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, interesting. You got another Mandalorian. Wait, is that the same one? It is. It's not the oh, same it's not. one. Uh, that perfectly illustrates our point, right? <laughs> They're making a lot of these Mandalorian pops. So this is number 345. This is Mandalorian. Appears he has a rifle in his hands. What's that one? 345 with the rifle in his hands. No, this is 326. I mean, 326 with the rifle over his hands. Got it. Interesting. Huh. All right, now I am going to get into my Bands for Arms boxes here, and Devin's going to switch over to the Chrono Toys boxes. And again, remember with these Bands for Arms boxes, what we're really searching for is that Planet Arlie of Vegeta, and I don't think they're going to put the Planet Arlie in a box, but I, instead a note yeah, that like says you, you won. Got, yeah, yeah, we saw that on the Taco Man's channel when he won his... Um, uh, Planet Arlie, and obviously his reaction was classic. So, all right, third Bands for Arms box. I'm going to try to get this right this time. Okay, I think that's right. Boom. Bugs Bunny. Oh, Flock. Flock Bugs Bunny. That looks uh, really cool. Target uh, exclusive, which is really cool. Um, I, I like the Flocked Pops. What year is it? Oh, good question. Uh, 2017, so it's a bit of an older pop. Um, it's a cool one. Uh, again, we'll check values at the end, but I really like that one a lot. I like the animation pops. We collect mostly movies and television, but the animation ones, and especially the flocked ones, are very cool. Something very nostalgic about the Looney Tunes. Saturday morning cartoons. Everybody remembers that, right? Everybody. <laughs> Right, hopefully I do. Ooh, yes. Uh, oh, okay. An anime pop. I have not seen this at all. Um, okay, let's. I know this is one of the new lines that just came out. Brand new common. Um, uh, Unuyasha. Um, maybe that's right. We're probably getting it wrong. Yeah. Um, again, brand new. Looks really cool. I like the white hair of that one. Not much of um anime collectors, but. Um, certainly looks neat from a pop perspective. All right, last one for each of us. This one feels a little bit heavier. Not sure if that means anything, or, uh, but we ah. will check it out. Bucky, he's having some problems. Oh he? my gosh, he, can, he can't <laughs> stand. All right, here we go, off the screen. Planet Arlia box. Last one from Bands for Arms for this run. I gotta be honest with you, we bought a ton of these Bands for Arms Planet Arlia boxes. We're a little old boy. <laughs> so we've got a lot of these coming. Um, but it, it should make for really good content, and I, I hope got, you enjoy that as all well. Right. Boom. It is Captain Phasma from uh, Star Wars. It looks metallic. Is Does it metallic? It? Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Um, it's definitely a neat pop. It's one of the older ones. It's not, it's not the blue box, um, but it is definitely one of the older ones. Let me see what year this one's from. This one looks like it's from 2015. So this is a bit of an older pop. A little bit of damage on the bottom, nothing major. Um, but um, I'm really interested to see what that one's worth. Captain Phasma. Cool. All right, and last chalice challenger. Chrono. All right, sorry, Chrono challenger. <laughs> We do have some chalice boxes that we'll be going through in later videos, so certainly one we can uh, look for in the future. All right, if I can get this unwrapped. Oh my gosh, all right. I think I have it right. Upside down. Ooh, Boom. Shaggy from the new movie Scooby. Oh, awesome. Scoob. 
Yeah, that's cool. I think those are Walmart exclusives. That has the overseas sticker, um, but at least it's an ex exclusive pop. I think that's actually the first exclusive pop that we got from um, the Chrono Mystery Boxes. Yeah, the damage is really good. Both is having a hard day. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a 2020 pop. Like, it's really new. Yep. Okay, so let's first, while we're looking up, we'll line up the bands for arms pulls. So you can see them all together. And as I mentioned, we'll give you values here in a second. Wasn't damaged. All right. So this is what we got. And we'll just do it this way. Because it's probably going to be easier for you to see it. You may not be able to see us, but you can certainly see the pops. So while we're looking up values, um, you right. can take a look at those. And we are we going to put them in order? Um, Try to guess it? I don't know. What do you think? You want to just do it for that and then for a chrono? Sure. So, uh, let's just do it together. Yeah. Okay. I think... What do you think? I think Looney Tunes... I feel like this one's going to be pretty good because it's flopped. Yep. I think this Captain Phasma... I don't know why, but I think it's pretty valuable. I, I agree. So, I feel like that and I feel like it's Looney Tunes. Okay. And then... They, who knows on these, right? I think Probably this one's a little them. bit older, so I'm going to put that one in front. You're going to put that one in front. Yeah. Like this. Okay, like this. Here's how we're guessing them. All right? All right. And we'll look up values, and we'll be right back. All right. We're back from looking up values. Honestly, we were really close. Uh, yeah. So close. And I'm the one who definitely screwed it up. <laughs> so to go through the values. And what was nice is both the Funko app and Pop Price Guide were exactly the same this time. So I'll just read them off once. Mando, $345, $15. Mando, $326, $17. Flocked Bugs Bunny, $18. And Captain Phasma, $8. Um, and for some reason, I was thinking this one was from Smuggler's Bounty or something, uh, and I thought it was had held to value, but I was obviously completely wrong. All told, we're at $58 for the Bands for Arms boxes, $60 invested, right, r almost right at what we invested in them. So again, great return. Didn't get the Arlia. We have a bunch more. Let's hope we do get the Arlia, um, but you will certainly find out in future videos. With that... We're going to reline up the chrono boxes so you can see what they are. And then we're also going to put them in order of what we believe to be the value of the chrono boxes. And what was this if it doesn't have a value? Uh, exclusive? If it doesn't have the value and it's an exclusive, we will call it $12. We'll call a common $10 and we'll call an exclusive $12. All right. Seem reasonable? So I think... Okay. I think, I think it's like this. I think this one's the most valuable. And that's, again, that's Dean from um, Supernatural. I think Scoob, because he's an exclusive. Oh, yeah. And I don't know that either one of those two are going to have a price. So I'm going, they're both 10. I don't know if this is going to have a price. Yeah, that's true. So all three of these are really new. So maybe that none of them have prices. So in that case, it'd be 10, 10, 12, and whatever this is. All right. All right. Okay, we'll check prices, and we'll be right back. We're back. Um, okay, looking at how we did on the game, again, we were close, really close. Yeah. Um, and a lot of them were because they, they were too new, and they didn't have values. But we'll go through what the values look like. So in this case, it's the anime pop, and I know I'm going to butcher this name, but in New Yasha, um, didn't have a value on either, uh, so we assigned it a value of $10. Um the My Melody Ochako, again, maybe butchering the name, um, interestingly enough, had a value on the Funko app of $100. Don't think that's right. We actually looked it up on eBay, and it's going for uh, 10 to $15, as you would expect from a common. So, and it didn't have a uh, price on PPG. So we assigned it a value of $10. So $10, $10. We got to Shaggy from the movie Scoob. And so this did not have a value on the Funko app. But if I looked at Pop Price Guide, it, it did have a value, and it was valued at $20. So we're going to go 10 10 20 and Dean comes in at $14. So we did not um, 
quite get the, the value right close. Again, three out of the four, um, or I guess technically two out of the four since we've got these backwards, but um, close to guessing the value order, uh, but not quite uh, where we're at. Now, if you think about um, the value of these, so these came in at 10, 10, 20, and then we'll give Scoob the benefit of the doubt and call it 20. So that's 40 and Dean at 14, that is $54. Again, $54 for $60 shipped, including shipping. Uh, comparing the two, and in this case, Bands for Arms with a value of $58 versus the Chrono Toys with the value of $54 comes out in front of this <laughs> uh, battle in this case. Mm -hmm. So, again, both great boxes. We're really happy with them. These are relatively new pops. Again, you know, it's tough to say what those look like and and they are common pops for the most part. This one is good. Movies fits our collection. This one's good. Television fits our collection. Uh, we like those. You saw the um, the pops that we got from the Bands for Arms boxes. And with that, I think you can say, you know, we got close to value in both. Mm -hmm. Bands for Arms had a little bit better value. And full transparency, his did have a $15 um, guaranteed value, whereas the Chrono Toys do not. So, um, net net, it was relatively close. And for me, that was really fun. I don't know what you thought. Yeah. It's awesome. Cool. So until next time, keep watching. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. See, See you, you later. Soon.